Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to load packed sales staging layer of our data row. In the last video, we completed the data load for our landing layer. If you have not seen that video, I would recommend you to go back and watch that video first. We have our data in the value column of our landing layer. Today we will expand that data and load the corresponding columns in the staging layer. I am into my JupyterLab environment and this is the sales staging IPython node. Let's run through the cells one by one. Let's import the required libraries and utility functions. We will be reading our fact sales landing table. Let's generate our Spark session. Let's set the required Spark configs. We need to get the max timestamp for our staging layer to read the incremental data. Since our max timestamp is set to low value, we'll be reading all the data that is present in our landing layer. We have a filter condition insert date greater than the max timestamp. Let's read the data from the landing layer. Let's validate the data that we have read from the landing layer. In the value column, we have all the order information that we loaded in the landing layer. We have to expand this value column to get our orders information. Before we can expand our value column, we have to determine the schema of our JSON payload. For that, what we have done is we have read the value column into the JSON format and we have determined the JSON schema. Let's run this cell and get our JSON schema inside the JSON schema variable. As you can see, we have determined the JSON schema. We will use this JSON schema to read our payload. Next, we will use the from JSON function that has provided by PySpark to expand our value column using the JSON schema that we have determined in our previous cell. Once we have read the JSON data in our staging temp, we will explode the order columns, get all the orders data that are present in the orders. Next, we will explode the order line items to get all the product line items that we have in a particular order. And we will also drop all the columns that we have exploded. Let's run this cell and see the output. As you can see, we have exploded all the columns and expanded the JSON to get our all necessary columns. The total exploded column count is 163, which is the total number of line items that we have for all the orders. Next, we have to calculate our line item total which is one of the measure in our fact. To calculate the line item total, we'll use this logic. Quantity into price plus tax minus discount. But we don't have price in our fact. So we have to bring the price from dimension product. We'll read the dimension product based on active flag and we'll read only the required columns which are product ID, row width and price. Now we'll do the necessary calculations which are subtotal, tax, discount and line item. Once we have all the required columns, we can load the data. Next, we will select all the required columns that are required for our fact sales. We'll cast and transform the required columns. We'll use product width that we have got from dimension product. We'll generate our integration key, which is combination of all order ID, product ID, store ID, customer ID, and order date. We'll cast the quantity to integer. We'll add run date and insert date and update date. Now let's run both the cells one by one. Before we write the data into the final staging layer, let's validate the data. As you can see, we have all our required columns present in the staging layer now. We have customer ID, store ID, order date, quantity, tax, discount, line item, order ID, invoice ID, product ID, product weed, integration key, run date, insert date and update date. 
Let's write our data into the staging layer now. Data is written into the staging layer. Let's enter the job control log and generate the symlink manifest file. Our symlink manifest file is also generated. Before we stop the Spark session, let's validate the data in the staging layer. We have all our required columns populated properly in the staging table. Let's stop the Spark session now. Today we completed the staging load for our fact sales using the orders data. In the next video, we'll be loading this data into the final layer which is the fact sales. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.